Hey guys, uh, Joel Harvey here. Um, I've flown to Sydney um, to meet. You might have watched one of my jet videos with the unraveling of presents from a very generous gentleman standing behind me. Yeah, jet, that's me. Dave, that's Jet me. A1 Terminator. <laughs> he sent sent some perfect little uh, tubes that would do for the inside of my jets. Um, he just ran his his jet that you'd probably see on his channel. Um, that is on your channel. That's on my channel. Yeah. I tell you what, the video doesn't do it do it justice. It, it's an awesome machine. Um, it runs just like an aircraft engine, and it, it's absolutely beautiful. So from the time I come in in the driveway, this is what I saw. This is okay. You got this little look at this little old Ute here. What what's this thing? That's an old Mazda 1000. Yeah, 75 model. So uh, um, yeah, try and, try and get a better shot. It used to have a little piston engine in it. Now little it's, piston. Uh, okay. it's getting stripped down and yeah. modified just a little. And modified a bit. Just a little. Not too much. Okay, so um, not too much. Oh, okay. So we are looking at uh, this is a helicopter engine, yeah. Yep. In the back, it's going to be shaft driven. It's a nine-inch diff. Nine-inch diff. Nine-inch diff. Um, sitting on the other side of the, the car at the moment. So we've got the nine-inch diff over here. Is shortened the axle. This is an absolutely beautiful machine. So you've seen my dodgy backyard stuff. This is the, this is the real deal. This, you can imagine this here is about the size of a large V8 engine. Puts out a thousand horsepower. So if you've got, but uh, smaller. Uh, yeah, it, <laughs> sort of. It, it is kind of a V8. No, it's a little bit smaller. It's about, I would say, about the same as a V8. Bulkiness. Um, the back end is really where where the um, power is, but I'm looking at the actual engine itself. It's, yeah, it is a bit bigger, isn't it? That's just to give you an idea how big the turbines are on this. They're only tiny. They're only little? Yep. Wow. That's, that's the core there. Yeah. But a thousand horsepower for a drag uh, drag car or a burnout vehicle. So yeah. you can do do donuts, figure eights. Yeah, you can much. do burnouts all around the block. Yep. Your engine won't, won't pop. So to, to do this with a, a V8 engine, you're looking 30... 35, 40 grand. Yeah, easy. Something like this is a bit cheaper if you know how to engineer it and put connect it to the wheels and so yeah. Anyway, we'll give you a look at the engine. Dave's gonna give it a run for us. Let's go. Let's go, yeah. Not the master of this thing. Oh okay. Ah oh, ah. Oh. Anyway, that's to give you I was looking forward to the U. Idea of the size of it. Yeah, if you look at uh, Dave's um it's YouTube not the video, you can't really see the size of the engine, so you sort of get a, a bit of an idea of how big it is. And the prop, the prop's actually um, a, a bit larger than it looks on screen. 22 inch. 22 inch, 22 inch, that's pretty big, yeah. Um, so if I put my hand here, you get a, an idea of the, or even a Coke can, yeah, there you go. So it's a fairly large free power unit he's got there. He built this all, all himself. So we're gonna give it a, give it a run, start it up. So, now if the camera shakes, it's because it's popped. Yep. It actually, we start this off um, propane gas. I will start it eventually off kerosene. Got to get around to doing it. Um, it's just an air blower. And once it does sustain on gas, I'll flip it over to car and turn the gas off. So you'll hear the difference. Now you don't, you don't actually start this on full oil pressure, do you? No. I started Why off is the, that? Well, it's no good to load up the bearings like that. Basically, you're better off to start a little bit lower, keep, uh, lower, keep them free, um, and then build it up on its running. And, and they carbonate up. And that's right. Yeah, if you, you put too much in, it, that's that's what will happen. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'll take up. Anyway, let's, let's let's start this. Let's pluck this duck. Oil pump, cooling fan, ignition, start.
tell you what, if you could hear that, um, my ears are ringing. That, that is absolutely phenomenal. That is, ah, oh, that's awesome. So the, the one on my, my jet car is actually twice the size, and uh, I haven't had the guts to run it yet because I can't afford to fix it if I blow it up. So uh, that's why I'm here too, to get a, get a bit of advice from an expert. I wouldn't call it an expert, but yeah. <laughs> just an Glor enthusiast. Glorified parts fitter that actually that's engineers right. his own jet engines. Now, are your ears ringing? Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's probably why I'm talking so loud, because I've actually lost three quarters of my hearing. So thanks, thanks Dave. Not a problem. No. Best hey, thing um, for it. So show us what, what what are you planning on doing with this? You're actually cooling it down at the moment. Yep, that's what I'm doing now. It's just running some cooling air. The oil pool is still running. The oil pump's still running. So um, that's so that the, the oil doesn't uh, carbonise up, up inside the, the bearings, bearings and everything yep, and smoke up yep. and and uh, it'll score your bearings right out. That's right. Reduce the life inside. So yeah, yeah, yeah. To do. So you, you're putting this on a, a pocket bike? Yep, a little pocket bike. Um, not sure yet. Probably a home built similar to the 1000cc one I made. Check it out. you got to check that out. That's awesome. Yeah, he has fun. a big burnout on his pocket though. So that's probably the plans for the near future. It's awesome. So what about the jet ski here? You're gonna put you're gonna put something in the jet ski, you reckon? Oh, I don't think I'll wreck that one just yet. No, that's that's a no, good that's, one. That's um, a nice one. A bit too, too expensive to yeah. destroy at the moment. But, um, maybe one day. So you got up the back here. What's the story with this uh, the jet engine up the back? Do you mind if we walk up the yeah, back of the workshop? Yeah, go for it. I'll step over the rope here. So we're gonna go through and have a look at Dave's workshop a bit while he's cooling down. So is that is that low enough now? Or? No, I've just got the oil pump now. That'll do. Yeah. That Pull it down a bit. So. Just give you a bit of, bit of a look, a bit more of a closer look. Oh no, yeah, you better cool that off. That's only oil dripping through, that's alright. Just dripping through, yeah. yeah. That's fine. So it's very, very well built. Very well built. You got all the, uh, the fuel system and everything. Okay, so we'll go up the back here and have a look. Uh, this thing here is. Uh, so you got a. Um, this is out of, um, you'll find him on uh, YouTube, Does the Cowboy. This is one, or two of his jet engines. This one's who, in pieces. Who, who's the guy? His name's Daryl. Um, he's already current Australian champion. Yeah. Um, luge champion. He's out to break the world record for speed with a jet powered luge. Now, he's got two of these engines here. They're about 200 pound of thrust. 200 pound of thrust. Each one with the afterburners. So, the size, look at the size of his hands there, and you get an idea of the it's size of that. It's a, yeah, that's that's a big. That's actually the insides of it, so. Big turbine blade, big compressor blade. We're smoking up a little bit back here, so he's just turned it all off. Um, how many horsepower did you say? Well, he reckons 200 pounds of thrust. 200 pounds of thrust. It will produce that with afterburn. But you can yep. convert the poundage one to one, can't you? Kind of. Depend of yeah. It's hard it's to say. Yeah. Hard to say. That's the combustion can out of it. So, um, yeah, so you can actually get some decent horsepower out of these. You can. I mean, what are you looking at? 100 plus horsepower out of that. Easy. Yep. And, uh, that's a bit of smoke <laughs> there, isn't it? <laughs> Where's all that smoke coming from? Is it? Um, basically, it's fuel? just, no, it's just the oil dripping through the bearings. They don't actually have, on the exhaust side, they yeah. don't have a rubber oil seal. It's just basically a, um, Labyrinth seal, and you yeah. do get oil dripping past them when they're not spinning. There's no pressure. There's no oil. So seal. we want to really cool that down, don't we? Yeah, that's all yeah. right. It's all right. Um, I'm going to sign off anyway. So thumbs up, See subscribe, you guys. and um, hope you enjoyed. Comment below and check out Jet A1 Terminator's channel. He's got some awesome uh, jet stuff there, and thanks uh, a lot. You'll be doing some films in the future too. So. Absolutely. Keep thanks going. for watching. Thank you. Woo!